The major category of herb-drug interactions is what we call a pharmacodynamic interaction that also includes ephedra. Many people use it in their diet, but if you are a heart patient, you should think first before taking it. Today we will discuss everything about ephedra. What is it? How is it used? What are the drawbacks of this herb? And much more. Before we dive into the risks of ephedra, welcome to Scope Care, a safe and healing space for patients and caregivers of all ages. So if you want to be a part of Scope Care, make sure to subscribe to the channel and give a thumbs up to this video. Let's keep watching. Let's start with a brief introduction to ephedra herb. Ephedra is an herb that has long been used in medications to treat asthma, bronchitis, allergies, and cold and flu symptoms. Let's discuss the plant's description. Ephedra is a shrub that is native to Pakistan, China, and northwestern India. Some ephedra species grow in the southwest desert of the United States. The ephedra plant is a perennial evergreen that stands one foot high on average, but it may grow up to four feet. Nearly leafless, the plant has slender, cylindrical, yellow-green branches and underground runners. In August, the flowers bear poisonous, fleshy red cones resembling berries. The three ephedra species, Ephedra sinica, Ephedra equisetina, and Ephedra intermedia, are collectively known by their Chinese name, Ma Huang. During the 1980s, ephedra became popular outside of traditional Chinese medicine. As a result, its popularity has grown and it could be found in various dietary supplements marketed for weight loss and performance enhancement. The primary active ingredients in ephedrine and pseudoephedrine both raise heart rate, constrict blood vessels, dilate bronchial tubes, and have thermogenic properties, which cause the body's temperature to rise and metabolic rate to increase. Stroke, seizures, insanity, and death have all been linked to these alkaloids. Data from 50 trials did show, however, ephedra and ephedrine are associated with two to three-fold increases in psychiatric symptoms, such as irritability and anxiety. Autonomic symptoms include jitteriness, trouble sleeping, upset stomach, and heart palpitations. In the United States, dietary supplements containing any amount of ephedrine or pseudoephedrine are prohibited. However, some supplement manufacturers have eliminated these alkaloids from ephedra and reformulated their products. In Canada, ephedra is authorized by Health Canada for use only as a nasal decongestant. Nutritional supplements with ephedra may not also contain stimulants, such as caffeine which may heighten the effect of ephedra and increase its dangerous side effects. Canadian products containing ephedra also may not imply claims of weight loss, appetite suppression, bodybuilding effects, or increased energy. What is ephedra used for? As I already told you, the once popular stimulant was used for weight loss, sports performance, and asthma, and other respiratory problems. So let's discuss each one by one. Number one is weight loss. Ephedra may help promote weight loss and suppress appetite. Ephedra supplements contain stimulant herbs such as green tea, yerba mate, and guarana, and had been used in many dietary supplements marketed for weight loss. However, the ephedra and caffeine combination is now widely believed to heighten the potential health risks and is not recommended. Number two is sports performance. Ephedra is similar in structure to amphetamine. It has been used to improve athletic performance and strength in endurance sports, as well as to raise alertness and aggression on the field and minimize fatigue in sports such as ice hockey, baseball, football, and cycling. Many sports organizations, including the International Olympic Committee, the National Football League, and the National Collegiate Athletic Association, have prohibited ephedra. It has also been banned from U.S. military bases worldwide for more than 30 soldiers who died while taking ephedra. Number three is asthma and other respiratory disorders. Ephedra has a long history of usage as a cure for asthma, chills, bronchitis, allergies, fever, and cold and flu symptoms, and also as a nasal decongestant in traditional medicine and herbalism. Misuse and mixing it with other stimulants, such as coffee, that increases its effect have all been linked to various adverse side effects. Ephedra side effects, on the other hand, can vary and are not dosage-dependent. However, even at low dosages, serious negative effects may happen in susceptible people. 
People with underlying diseases such as heart disease, high blood pressure, heart rate problems, and a history of seizures, stroke, or transient ischemic attacks may be at a higher risk of side effects. People with these few health conditions should avoid ephedra. In addition, people with allergies to ephedra, ephedrine, or pseudoephedrine should also avoid ephedra. Ephedra shouldn't be taken two weeks before or after a surgery. It should not be used by pregnant or nursing women or children. Also, people with anorexia nervosa or bulimia should avoid ephedra because it affects appetite. The Food and Drug Administration banned ephedra in 2004 because of concerns about acute safety risks. The herb's advantages are few and far between, and the results of using it may be severe and unexpected. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel Scope Care to watch more informative content in the future. If you have any questions so far, let us know in the comments below. Now we are moving towards our list that contains the side effects of the ephedra herb. Number one, increased blood pressure. Ephedra works much like caffeine, exciting the body's circulatory system and pulse. Hence, high blood pressure may be triggered by ephedra. Also, the possibility of hypertension far outweighs any weight loss advantages to the herb. Finally, ephedra may interact with blood pressure and cholesterol lowering drugs. Number two, Negative emotions. Ephedra can cause negative emotional responses. Ephedra can cause anxiety, anger, and stress. As a result, anyone suffering from depression, stress, or other psychiatric conditions should avoid using this. Ephedra can also cause sleep problems such as insomnia, which can impact your mental energy, health, and brain abilities throughout the day. Because ephedra has a stimulant effect, people who are sensitive to caffeine or other stimulants should avoid using it. Ephedra can sometimes cause psychosis or a loss of contact with what is and is not real. Number three, headaches and stress. Ephedra has been related to an elevated amount of headaches. These headaches could be the result of the herbal supplement itself or from increased blood pressure brought on by the supplement. Enough ephedra can be delivered by these products to cause harmful effects. Users can also experience irritability, nervousness, tremors, or hallucinations due to utilizing ephedra. Number four, gastrointestinal. Some people experience negative stomach side effects with this herb. These gastrointestinal problems can include nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, constipation, or a lack of appetite. Number five, urinary tract. Ephedra creates negative effects in the urinary tract, including kidney stones, difficulty urinating, and an enlarged prostate. In addition, increased urine production can result in dehydration which can exacerbate other underlying health conditions, such as cardiovascular disorders. Number six, heart attack, stroke, seizures, and death. The most severe complications of ephedra include stroke, heart attack, seizures, and even death. Many of these deaths have been the results of a heart attack or stroke triggered by the herb. If you're taking an ephedra supplement or have elevated heart rate, chest discomfort, physical numbness, or other signs of a heart attack, get emergency medical treatment immediately. Additionally, increasing or long-term supplement use may increase your chance of significant negative effects. An analysis of 16,000 ephedra-related adverse events by the National Institutes of Health found two deaths, nine strokes, four heart attacks, one seizure, and five mental disorders. In addition, the ephedra is associated with higher risks of heart palpitations, digestive effects, and symptoms of hyperactivity of the autonomic nervous system especially when combined with caffeine or other stimulants, such as cola nut, green tea, or yerba mate. There are many supplements on the market today that include questionable ingredients that could cause problems. So unless your doctor has approved or recommended a medicine containing ephedra, look for a safer means to handle your weight, health, and energy. So that's a wrap for today's episode. Ephedrine is a powerful sympathomimetic drug that causes increases in heart rate, blood pressure, cardiac output, and vascular resistance through direct and indirect actions on adrenergic receptors. Ephedra's properties have been linked to various cardiovascular issues, including myocarditis, arrhythmias, myocardial infarction, cardiac arrest, and sudden death. I hope that you found this content informative and also satisfactory. Health is a priority, so before eating anything, whether it is an herb or supplement, you must do some research about it. If you like the content, share it among your friends, and if you have any questions, Add them in the comments section. 
Keep watching Scope Care for more interesting content and updates on a healthy lifestyle by subscribing to the channel. Thank you for watching this video. See you in the next video. Stay healthy, stay cool. Bye-bye.